Ryan. Colgan. And what are we doing today, Ryan? We're going to Compact 2015. 2015. We're going to go see some military vehicles out in Chester Fairgrounds, Connecticut. Hopefully, we'll see some Hummers. What else? Uh, deuce and a half. Deuce and a half. Five tons, seven tons, all sorts of crap like that. So uh, stick with us. We'll be there in about five minutes. Here we go. Here we go. Guys, is Mesker from GI Bro with Ryan Golden, and we're at Convict. Convict. We got some uh, 75 or so military vehicles. We got half track already run behind us. Yep. Uh, lots of Jeeps, some uh, some deuce and a half, seven tons. What else we got? Uh, rebuilt Humvee, which is pretty cool. We got original 1985 version. Yep. We got lots of vets here having a good time. We got some cool stuff. Uh, some good people talking to a bunch of folks. So uh, we're gonna do some more walking around. We're gonna check some stuff. What do you think, Ryan? Here we go. Here we go.
have Rome. Hey guys, it's Mesker from GI Bro, and we got uh, Dave Rogers here from Convec. Uh, Dave, what are we doing here today? How, what's, what's this big event we're showing up to? Well, today we got um, a military vehicle show here at the uh, Chester Fairgrounds. Um, this is, we do it annual. It's, it's various different fairgrounds throughout the state. Uh, this, we haven't been here two years prior. We went to Summers, and we've been at Hebron, and now we're back here at Chester. So great turnout today. And what we got is the Convec Club itself uh, gets together. We put on this show. We do, we, you know, go through all these military trucks, um, restore them, um, a lot of hobbyists. Hey, mostly, mostly this one's veterans. your. Per, this is your personal this, truck this right is here, right? This my personal truck. Yep. What, what is this exactly? This is a M923A1. This is a Desert Storm era, uh, five-ton vehicle that is used to transport anything from howitzers to supplies. This particular one was a medical supply truck out of Pennsylvania. It's only been out of the military for two years. Wow, awesome. So, how do you pick something out? Like, how do you buy a vehicle like this? This one right here, I actually bought from a fellow club member who had gotten it from a government liquidation website, such okay. as GovPlanet, uh, government liquidation, Iron Planet. Like an auction site? Exactly, an okay. auction site, and um, $7,500. That's you know, affordable. It, it, pretty much of this shape. Wow, fantastic. So, and that's in peak shape. I mean, I'm a former Marine myself, and I've been in a few of these in my day, so, but this looks fantastic. You don't see this on the road very often, so, no, no, fantastic. No, and the good thing with the club, is it's a way to network because parts for these aren't exactly easy to come by and what we do with the club is have an event like this and it does two things one you can network with fellow club members you know get involved with the hobby a little bit more and number two which is more importantly for me is make a donation to uh, veterans homes and, and, and people so we don't take a dime from this once the fairgrounds is paid for the rest of the money that we do have goes right to veterans and uh, it's, it's a great way to enjoy that and people can come out and see everything from World War One ambulance to an armored personnel carrier from present day and we got everything in between. Yeah, that's awesome. And you said today we were probably roughly around 70 to 75 trucks in. About know. 70 to 75 trucks, yeah, incredible. which is a great turnout, you know. Um, couple hundred people here as well. I mean, you're, the the showing is incredible. You have lots of kids checking it out. You got some uh, parents bringing their kids or yep. family. So yep. it's definitely a great day to come out and visit with the family. It, absolutely. We, off, we often do uh, rides with last members who have more exotic military vehicles. Hey, would you, would you mind giving rides? So. Right, like the Deuce and a Half. We saw a bunch of people going around rides on that. Yep. That's really awesome. Yep, so. Deuce and a Half, Half Tracks, all that. It's a great event. And Comvec.org, check us out. We're a great great organization good way to give, give back to veterans and uh getting involved in a hobby you know it's a lot cheaper than you think too it is it is five bucks they're giving it away so exactly but they're supporting the troops dave thank you so much hey, it's been an honor meeting you thank you and uh we're gonna go walk around some more vehicles so Beautiful. thanks a lot take Have care a good one. we'll see you
Hey guys, so we're just wrapping up our day here at Comvac at the Chester Fairgrounds this year. Awesome day, lots of vehicles. Very cool. Ryan, cool. what'd you think? We spot a lot of good people. Yeah, hey, I got a ride in this thing. Got, you oh, know, ride cool. in the, uh, the half track here. Pretty awesome thing. You don't get that for every day for five buck entry. Uh, big thanks out to Comvac for having us yeah, here. Totally. Dave and Dave Rogers and Mark, you guys are fantastic. Yep. Answer a lot of our questions. The interview was fantastic. Uh, look forward, I'm definitely going to try and come back next year, maybe even some of the other events later in the year. I might want to buy something like this. Yeah, this definitely. Cool. I mean, after talking to Dave on, and if you're into buying something like this or you just want to own yeah. uh, a military history vehicle, he was saying, how much was a, uh, a, a five ton or a deuce and a half? Uh, right around 7,500. 7,500 for a pristine one, one that'll run on the road and you can register it, low insurance and well, they everything. They knew like everything. They so knew I, mean, everything. I wouldn't even hesitate to even reach out to these guys. Right. Um, yeah, if you're interested in buying a vehicle, getting into this military vintage stuff, talk to Dave down there. Guy knows what he's talking about. He'll help Either you that, out. Your local, you know, clubs. I'm sure at these, you know, everywhere. Yep. yep. Talk to any of the uh, military uh, vehicle clubs. But uh, big thanks to Combat. We're signing off. Yep. So until uh, next time, we'll talk to you guys later. Here we were. Here we were.